No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the world. Again. Even that could draw in the enemy. At last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Which path ought we to follow? This calls for due consideration. Do we decide based on our experience or trust to our instincts? Forgive me, but there's another matter I've been thirsting to speak of. Namely... Look how many women we count among our number. And yet no two of us are the same. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. If you seek to restore your memories, Master, me thinks a trip to Melv might be just the thing. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Follow me! This way, if you please, Master. Behold the 
the state of the village. Tis a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the Pity a Well met. Hope to see you again. There are few things as exciting as receiving new equipment. By what margin will it improve our performance in battle? I want. Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle, survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. No reason. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arm. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I... Shall we seek some answers? You really ought to have returned by now. This might be worth a read. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need...
something. Always a pleasure. Only the Arisen. Can become a mystic spirit. Here at the inn, we well, get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. Elf, but enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. What say we gather some information? Here at the inn, we I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both.
roles myself. But enough of that, mate. Do come again. Here at the inn, we I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. What am I to do? Is that you, Norbert? Oh, fie. I got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? The brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen no sign of him since. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Understand? I, I'm not afraid of monsters. But it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? So I thought, mayhap, you'd go in my place. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone... Go into the forest, and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, oh, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye, but my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map, and it's hard to describe. But my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me, keep me safe. You will, won't you? Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. Let us make haste, that no life may be lost on our account.
if I might be so bold as to speak my mind? The private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Each to their own. This is a good spot. Let's stop here a moment. I've camped here with my brother many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on, same as us. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it, if you like. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. Right you are. You're a welcome sight, Arisen. As ever, I'm yours to command. Time of our parting is come. Thank you for everything, Arisen. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful.
Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. We've little need for a campsite at present. Tis well to be prepared, but over preparation will serve us not. Tis a glad thing we rested where we were. Try not to get hit, lest all that bin go to waste. Do watch where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Did anyone else see that? Ort catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here, during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use.
Can anyone hear me? Please! I need help! Norbert, are you hurt? I can do no less in service to the original. Vocation proud. I, I thought I was done for. Ah, oh, it was a near thing. I think I'll be all right, but if you hadn't come for me, I. Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother, and I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made anyway. I'm eager to be rid. The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Let's be off then. There is no telling what perils we may face. We must be ready to protect our charge at a moment's notice. Must not let down our guard. yourself!
ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Back at last. That I I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. Good on you. Just take care, all right? You wonder why I don't follow him. So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late. And I was right. But mayhap none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. While I stand around with my hands in my but today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads. We managed to save Norbert. And perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I'd only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. Never again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. With Sir Norbert safely returned, Melv shan't lack for medicinal herbs. Too Sir Gregor wishes to speak with you, Master. Shall we go to him? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. We're here, Master. If you're enjoying life, does aught else matter? Treasure oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dread oh, no, I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. I made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? Suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And me... We could make the fruit robber into ourselves, or simply purchase some. At Rune's apothecary here in Melv. I think... Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robber in for me? So this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. 
Fancy look at my wares? Do come again. We found a chest. Let us examine what it has to offer. a short repose hereabouts we are alone here methinks perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings that's just what i was thinking this is a powerful weapon a single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. When better to use this but in the midst of battle. <sighs> I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Met. Looking to make a perch. Yes. Hope to see you again. Well, you ought not strain yourself, not in your current state. Those burns could easily have killed you outright. I... A solitary shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these, if tis to be of use. We must take care not to throw it away by mistake. <laughs> 